Hey, what's up guys? Pope coming back for another episode of my Epic Skyrim play around. And uh, if you remember, we in the last episode got to this um, this chamber, if you will. Uh, so we can find the Dragon Scroll for the Priestess in Whiterun for the Jarl. So, let's see. I think I've already, well, maybe I haven't. Let's go a little bit more. Let's go back. There we go. Um, but I'm trying to find this dragon skull. And I think everything really after this part is just basically how it all goes down. Um, shouldn't be anything really new. Uh, I apologize if you guys have not been getting these episodes um, in a timely manner. Um, I actually have just started a new job and so I've been doing a lot of just training stuff with them. Alright, getting familiarized with the, the procedures and stuff like that in, for the new job. So yay Pope for getting a new job. Uh, it's been a necessity for me. Uh, because if you guys have been keeping up with my channel, I uh, recently lost my job, which gave me a lot of free time to, you know, put these videos out uh, in a day-to-day uh, -day timely manner. And, um, ooh. what's up, homeboy? Now, this a surprise. This dude is tearing me up. Go on. After he beat the hell out of me. Okay. But anyways, um, yes, yeah, so I apologize for that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure if I will be able to uh, put out uh, episodes the way that I would like to be. Let's get through this real quick, oh, guys. Hold on. Uh, if you look, it's snake, and then there's one missing in the middle, so that's gonna be that one. So it'll be snake, snake and then whale so let's get this snake snake and whale and if I had gotten it cor wrong then these things would have started shooting at me and it had been bad uh, but anyway so yeah um, unfortunately I'm not sure entirely yet so don't don't exactly call me on it quite yet because I'm not sure I was of a hundred percent but I still will try my hardest to uh, put out the episodes in the fashion that uh, you guys you guys should have them oh wait uh, yeah that'll work because I know there's some rodents about to come Uh, yep. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna try and do that as best I can, and you guys should just kick back and enjoy the show. Let's grab this lesser gem soul up. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is gonna have my pickpocket in. Because I pickpocket so many people. What I should do is just try to pickpocket people, and when they catch me, just beat them to death. wrong okay and this should be my negative that's not it at all so where is this? I think this is gonna be it yeah that's my steel one 
That's worth a hundred. I really want to get my bartering skills up. Like, that's the main thing. Is someone coming? Is that you, Yours. I just like that's that's the main thing I want to get up. Otherwise, dude would have just, you know, took off and, um, he eventually would have just ran through here. And he'd have gone through this way and woke up all these guys who I, in turn, am just going to fight because I don't like it. What's up, Droger? Uh, but anyways, he would have ran through here, hit that pedestal right there, and... Oh, heck, I don't even want to hit it now. If that thing swings around, it'll mess you up. And what does the one that I have do? Okay, so it's the same thing. Eh, it's not really worth that much. What about your sword? Not worth that much. Okay, so let's dodge this. Fight this old dude. Ah! Ah! Got that guy. Alright. Yeah, let's go down here. Got time to be playing with these fools. Chumps. Did I rape and pillage? Nope. No, I did not. That's a chest. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Well, let's stop at that one. Got him. All right. All right, let's go ahead and end that problem. Go on down here. What's up, dude? Boom! Take them legs out and then take the head. I don't get to do my flaming flaming drugger trick. Ooh. 
All right. Let's see, what we got through this place. No doubter. All right. So now that we got that, we can go down here. I really like the cutscenes. I wish they'd do them a lot more often, which uh, you guys aren't really complaining because, for God's sakes, I've been eating these cutscenes up for a minute here. But I show you, they don't really, really, actually, rarely. Yes. I can. Finally, mine. Now uh, they the cutscenes rarely, rarely happen on Skyrim. You're actually few and far between. I don't know why they've been working so well for me. Whew. Excuse me, I had to take a sip of my drink. I'm a Mountain Dew. And no, I'm not partnered with Mountain Dew. But if they wanted to, you know, send me a check every week, then that'd be cool. I would definitely take Pepsi's money. So if any of you guys are affiliated with Pepsi and you're watching this, just know I'd love to say that Mountain Dew is the greatest drink in the entire world every single episode. But <laughs> you know, who who am I, you know, right? Right? Who am I? Except an avid Mountain Dew Pepsi product drinker. And has no problem telling everyone in the world that Mountain Dew and Pepsi Cola products are the best drinks in the entire world. But, you know, again, who am I, right? Yeah. So, anyways. Um, let's see. Nothing over there. So, let's go. Uh, I think there's one big bad boy right here. Oh. You got your own music. Should have swing that thing, son. Ah, gold necklace. Tea bag. Er, er. Uh, you probably can't see it. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. You get that one right. Yeah. Okay. And we got another apprentice. Oh! There we go. So, let's see. Now, I will show you guys if this is... If you've never seen Skyrim, if you've never played through Skyrim, um, I will attempt to show you this right here. It's actually not that difficult at all. Um, but the first time I played through it, I had absolutely no idea what I was looking for. Stay in there. You have no place in here. Ah. Uh. And I leveled up, bro. You got no. No, you didn't. Just shoot that green stuff at me. What? Thug life. Alright, so, let's see, and since nobody has commented on what they think I should be doing, or weapon style, stuff like that, I'm just going to continue to use these here two-handed, until I hear otherwise. Alright, now this is the part. You see, if you look, it shows like those three things that you have to turn and you're going to look around and all this bull crap. And I, I, I promise you guys, it took me an hour and a half to figure this out. But if you go in 
to your items and let's see I think it may be miscellaneous yeah okay uh, let's see I think it may be F no be R I swear I, I can't remember which one it is uh, C okay but if you look at the palm it shows it bear and all of these all of these claws you're gonna find them strewed all over the place but they all have this um, thing on the middle and that's what's gonna open up these doors so we got bear butterfly owl so now what we do is bear butterfly owl so bear butterfly owl bear butterfly owl okay and that's gonna lock it up and you do get these golden or these claws back they just go right back into your inventory so that's going down and then we'll walk on through And you do have to watch out because a lot of these places you'll have stuff popping up all over the place to kill you off. And you just can't, can't let them, can't let them get you down, can't show them your fears. Don't show them your weak side. Now when you see stuff like this, this means that there is a, a thorn or a dragon, dragon word. And that is a force, unrelenting force. Ah, uh, go wild on me, boy. I see, there's the dragon stone. We get that, so the gold, and uh, I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna sell it because it looks more important. Of course, I've become overcompensated. God, see, ooh, but I think. If I upgrade my stamina, I'll be able to. Let's see. Let's see what these are. Uh, power attacks for two and do cost twenty five percent less. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that because I do power attacks almost all the time. Ah. Uh. Let's search this chest real quick. Um, definitely getting that. Now we are one. We're only one. One weight. Let's see what? No, no, no. I'll store these. There we go. Now that's going to put me in the correct weight frame. So we'll just go back on up here. Pull this lever. The rock opens up. And then we are... Er, well, we, sh we should be back. Depending on what's in this here chest. That's worth 500, so I'm definitely taking that. Now, it's kind of a hidden rule um, in the game. You guys don't actually have to follow it at all, but it's a hidden rule. You're not really supposed to take anything from the shrines. It's bad luck. So, I just, I follow that. You don't have to, but I do. So here we are, and we should pop out outside. Boom. And I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, there's, yeah, there's money purse. No, wait, that's a push. I'm gonna just jump on down here. Oh, okay. And Caridium, I think I need a lot of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and mine that real quick. 
Yeah. Corundum? Corundium? Is that what it is? Corundium? Why well, then, Mr. Box? Cut on through these woods and we'll head back to White Run. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. And that's what that's one of the worst things about this game is that uh, you'll walk up and uh oh wait ah oh. god like you'll walk up and you'll get hit by something or like get bit by a uh, uh, a rat or a wolf or a bear or something and I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. I bet you are bad, too. Uh, but anyways, you know, you'll walk up and get bit by something, and all of a sudden you've got this illness that, I mean, as you saw, I got hit by that one thing, and then it was like, well, yeah, you can't really pick locks anymore. Whoa! all your stuff while I wait for your boy to show up. Oh, what's that? They're not gonna show up? Well, that's too bad. I was so looking forward to killing him off too. Hmm. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Tell you what. Um, I'll get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. I don't really care. Uh, let's get rid of Urgh. I'll just get rid of that because I'll find an axe somewhere else you know what I mean Ah! Where you going, brother? Mercy. Ah! Never have mercy. Never. All right. 
So now that we've killed off the world right here next to White Run. Really, the you don't really need chop logs. I mean, you can actually just chop as much wood as you want and sell it. And I mean, it's a good way for easy, easy, easy cash. But then, in, so as uh, like you know, killing off the wildlife and selling the tides, which um, you can actually turn into leather and use for smithing goods. So I actually think it works a little bit better, anyways. But again, that's just me. It's just how I play it. I s sincerely um, say, that's that rabbit eating that dog again. What's wrong with you? That thing's starting to scare me. a milk drinker like you doing out here go home to your mother she Why? talk to me like what that are you gonna do cry I'll beat your head in I don't have to take that from you never should have come here <laughs> <laughs> stupid red guard who do you think you are Uh, you're nothing. That's what. And then the ever so popular. All right. So now that we've made it to White Run, I need to go up and talk to the Jarl. Tell him that I found the scroll, or actually, I need to talk to the what is the court priest or the whatever you want to call it. I need to talk to him. And, yeah, that's really just what I gotta do anyways. So, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, boy. But that's gonna be something for another episode, guys. So, uh, thank you so much for watching my episodes, guys. This has been another episode of my epic playthrough of Skyrim. Uh, again, guys, if you have never played Skyrim, I urge you to please go buy a copy, whether it be on PC, Xbox, or PS3. You will not be disappointed at all. Um, uh, also, check out my other things on my page, such as my Minecraft playthroughs. Uh, I have a Funny Games one, and then I also have a Feed the Beast series going on with Morpheus Zero. Uh, check me out on Twitter, the Pope890. Also, check out my Twitch at twitchtv.com slash the Pope890. Um, yep. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And let me know what you guys want to see because I am I'm letting you guys decide. So, that's basically it right there. So thank you guys for watching. My name is the Pope 890. Peace. We drink to our youth. Today's come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings.
On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams.